Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. For those of you who don't know me that well, I'm Natasha Bray. I'm a success mastery coach for women who want to unlock the ultimate up level. And I'm also the founder of the School of Healing Mastery. I'm really excited to be here today with the amazing Louise Fernando. Me and Louise, we've got a lot in common. We are like two peas in a pod. We've both got um, a career in social work behind us, but we're both also coaches as well. Louise is an empowerment and mindset coach. And I just wanted to hand you over to Louise now so she can tell you a little bit more about the amazing work that she does. Hello. Hi, everyone. I am and welcome and the lovely Natasha as well. So I am Louise Fernando, an empowerment and mindset coach, and I work with women who are have experienced self-doubt and sabotage and imposter syndrome within their lives. Because it's something that I've experienced on my journey, given that I've experienced trauma and worked in social work and, you know, advanced in my career um, and really, really spotted that these things. So I, I really work with women on all of these areas and help them and assist them to move out of that area and progress in their either careers or their lifestyles. So that is um, a little bit about what I do. Yeah, fab. And and you have your own way of doing that. And of course, I, I work with some of those issues too, um, but in a different way with entrepreneurs. Um, so I wanted to um, invite you here today, Louise, to, to share a little bit about, because you've been working um, with me in my Ultimate Up Level Academy, particularly the Wealth and Worth Mastery course mm -hmm. over the last six, seven weeks now. And I wanted to just um, share like the, the amazing things that have been happening and the transformations that you've had in that program. So first of all, what made you decide to sign up for it in the first place? What, what was it about it that you thought this is for me? Okay, so I had discovered your work, Natasha, through another membership and was really drawn to you. And I think because we do share similar backgrounds with social work. And I was like, oh, this is a lady that actually, you know, you, you get how this works. Um, and you had posted out about the uh, wealth and mastery. And I recognized that there was a massive hustler in me. And this hustler had developed throughout the years of you know always having to be the best always having to work hard and always having to you know I was always working on my business all the time I was always in my mind and and just it was always there it was work 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 and I realized that I needed to work on that because I was starting to my family were starting to notice that I was disconnecting from them you know I'd be oh I've got a call I've got work or I've got this to do I've got that to do and it was pushing me away from what was really, really important. And the whole reason why I'm doing what I do. Um, so I recognized that there was a massive hustler in me. And that's what that Wealth and Worth Mastery experience was all about, healing the hustler success saboteur. And I think, you know, lots of people who have got careers and are transitioning into their own businesses can really relate with that as well. Yep. So it was recognizing the symptoms of this particular success saboteur for you. Um, and then you joined up, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. You connected for a while before that, so I was really happy uh, that you did sign up. And when the program started, how, how did things change for you? What sort of shifts did you experience? I think, and it, the shifts really started in the first week or so, um, and I know that you've, you, you've said that, you know, the shifts do start, and for anyone watching this, the shifts do really, really begin in the first week or so, because that's where the real hard work begins as well. And I think I recognized that the hustler inside of me wanted to get that week done, and wanted to get the work done, and had to get it done. And it was mostly raising my awareness around my hustler and beginning to calm her down. Um, so I started to recognize more when my hustler was in play, she was coming out um, and I was learned and I learned through the program how to just calm her down because she was overtaking all the time. Um, so for the first couple of weeks, the deep work really, really was done. Um, and, it, it, you know, I built on that, but I started to see such 
our progression and transition from those very, very first couple of weeks, really being aware of me and, and the hustler. Yeah. And you're not a stranger to the inner work, of course. This is an area that you, mm -hmm. you work with and you've done other things in the past. Um, so we like to talk about not just shifts in business, of course, which is obviously one of the key areas we see shifts, but shifts in you and in your life as well. So what type of things in you, how did you change in you personally, first of all? Oh, I feel quite emotional even around that question because I think because I then, and I've put my hand on my heart because I, I do, I feel like that. Um, the biggest thing was my family because I'd made that, I'd made that recognition that I my hustler was pulling me away from family and disconnection and things like that. My first key thing was I wanted to connect back. I, I knew that that was the key to my success. Um, just playing more, playing more with the kids and being present with them. And, and, and you know, if my husband wanted an extra cuddle in the morning, oh, no, I don't have to go and do that or I don't have to go and um, journal or do meditation just now. I can spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes just cuddled in or, you know, it was mostly the connection with family members and recognising that I was present. I was there. You know, I could have chunks of time where I thought about my business and I work, worked in the business, but the family were the whole reason I'm doing this. So for me, that connection was rebuilt again. Yeah, that's amazing. And did they notice the change? They did. They did. They absolutely did. And um, even just spending more time um, with my sons and not being dedicated to business all the time and working all the time and actually just being present and listening to them listening to their needs picking up on what they were needing mm -hmm. that for me has been um, one of the most rewarding parts of the program that's amazing and how old are your sons so my oldest son I've got four kids all together I've got 23 year old 21 year old and a 13 year old and an eight year old so the two girls are out and with their own family and the boys are at home so they're 13 and 8. Yeah uh, there's a there's a gap quite a gap between them. Quite a gap. Um, so yeah that amazing like reconnection with your family being present again because when we're stuck in that hustler success up to like we pretty much are thinking about work all of the time fitting work in wherever we can and uh, as, as you mentioned one of the key symptoms is disconnecting from those around us and how do you feel about yourself now after going through all the healing around I feel um, I feel a huge because there, I, I have such a spiritual side to me and because professionalism is one of my real big values and I always struggled with the whole professionalism and spiritualism kind of side of things so throughout the program because I was then slowed down more and took more time to lead into my intuition things just started changing massively for me um so I I throughout the program have become more even more spiritual so I've, I've called in all that more and I'm now more accepting of this is who I am. This is who I am. And this is who I need to show up as because I know that this, this works, this, this stuff that I know. And um, so I have been creating more of that in my content. I've been putting more of that into my group. And I see much more responses and interest. And my posts have been coming from a more intuitive place. Um, yeah, I feel like my and that part of me is just shining more, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So almost like that, um, like you are worthy for who you are and it's okay mm -hmm. to be as who you really are. And by doing that, you've attracted a lot more interest and clients as a result of that. Absolutely. Show. Yeah, I've um, taken an increase of clients. I also increased my prices throughout the programme as well because I, I recognised that Got 20 years experience in social work I've got 20 years working in addictions and with CBT and behavior and mindset and 
why would I not include that in the prices that I have, you know, and it's bringing everything in and knowing that I'm worthy of that, knowing that I'm worthy of this transition, transformation and change and someone's, you know, it's, it's about their transformation and what I can, you know, enable them with the skills and tools that I have. So yes, it's really, really made me think, hey girl, you are worth it because that is how it is, you know. Yeah, oh, amazing. And it is those internal shifts that lead to those external shifts, like increasing your prices, getting more clients, having a lot more people interested uh, and connecting to you. So it's not just about connection and your family. It was you weren't fully properly connecting with your audience because you were not not just showing your true self to them. I wasn't being I always say I'm authentic and I really am and I, that's I'm so facially expressive that I can't not be authentic but there was that side of me that I was holding back because I was frightened of what other people would think would they think I was too woo woo would they think I was too witchy as it's been called and the right people come in the right people will will gravitate towards that it doesn't matter because I know that I'm worthy of that brilliant and is there any other um big shifts that you can think of that next week um there's lots of shifts natasha there's i couldn't just say there's one or two there's lots of shifts so especially around the worthiness and the acceptance of who i am and, and what i bring and you know the, the business side of things as well just being really authentic with my audience and and my content and just just that knowing, knowing to trust my intuition. And that has got, even this week I posted in the, the group about how I used I had a had a nap and had an, a visual and an intu intuitive post come through as I was coming out through and, and subconscious and back into consciousness. And it come through and I had the vision in my mind and I knew just to action it straight away. So I put the action on the back of that vision and I've signed up new, new clients. Amazing. Which we call them manifesting naps in the yep. course. <laughs> um, amazing. And it's around sort of, um, you know, get, having that balance back between the hustler energy and the um, like receiving energy, relaxing. Mm -hmm. being oh, yeah. Sorry, that's another thing I realized throughout the course that I've been, I've struggled with receiving. So whilst I was throughout the course, my husband had given me really expensive rings and I remember opening them and thinking, I can't possibly receive these. These are so expensive and lovely and I don't have something like that to give you. But so the receiving part was really such a big thing for me as well throughout the program. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. And it's, you know, like hearing all that, it's hard to imagine that that's just happened within the space of six weeks. You know, it's like six massive changes um, in your relationships, in you, in your business. And it, it doesn't just end here. Obviously, that, that ripple effect is going to grow and grow. And what's, what would you say, you know, is different potentially about the Academy to anything in a work that you might have done before? I think it, it goes far deeper. I'd had a heart healing with Kirsty as well. And for anyone that has not heard of heart healing, you absolutely need a session because that was that then and that then led me to then come into the academy. Um and I know many people might be the other way around, but that's how it was for me. So in terms of the I had done a lot of therapy and inner work before, but this just delved into it a little bit deeper and kind of embedded everything that had been going on. Um, it's very, very different, very different. So if you're not in the academy already and it's something that you're thinking about, then, you know, don't think any further. Do you need to be in the academy? Because this is where all the work begins. It's not, it doesn't matter about your strategy. It doesn't matter about your web pages and things like that. The work is in here. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing that um, with us. And yeah, heart healing is, the therapy that I developed that is also ingrained in, in the academy and Kirsty is our team therapist who you're referring to there, who we've had such amazing testimonials for her work. Mm -hmm. I'm so pleased that you've had all these shifts and I know this is just the start for you and this 
it's just going to snowball now it's going to keep growing like a snowball effect so thank you for sharing that with us and for anyone who's watching this who is thinking that they'd love to find out more about your work where can they find out more about you so they can find me on facebook or instagram and i'm just simply louise fernando um, and I have a group empowering women to rise because I do believe that every woman has the potential to rise. So. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so you can go and check out Louise and her amazing work using uh, her Facebook group. And if anybody's interested in Wealth and Worth Mastery, we run it every, every six months. So it runs twice a year or you can join the academy and work on all four of your success saboteurs, which is a full six month experience. And if you're interested in that, we are enrolling now. So just get in touch and I can share the details with you. Well, thank you, Louise. And thank you for joining me. Bye for now. You're welcome.